Hello there cheeky potatoes, if you don't know me then my name's Raisa and to make sure you don't miss my upcoming videos and make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So this is the workout portion of my mobility video um, which was previous to this so it's not a bodybuilder workout but it's a workout of how I deal with doing lower body exercises so at the moment I'm actually not doing any at all uh, this video was from the 9th of December um, but it's like what I'm trying out so I can also give you a few tips whether you've got like hip problems or not before my deadlifts I was just going to warm up um, by doing some RDLs um, so they're quite good to feel it in your hamstrings and warm that up and just doing it with a 20 kilo bar but you don't have to even do it with a bar you can do it with like anything that's a weight really I don't remember too much if this was an RDL or a conventional deadlift but as you can see my flexibility just really isn't there I begin to feel hip pain and it just feels so tight like I just can't move so I'm not actually doing deadlifts at the moment this was quite a lightweight um, but you can see that I've kind of got the form and technique there, it's just that my hip actually won't get there. So again, that's why I'm not doing them right now because I don't recommend doing anything that's painful or like that's your body's way of telling you just not to do it anymore. But at the time I don't think these were giving me pain, it's just that my hip actually can't get down there. Um, you can also adjust it by making yourself a mini platform as well. Um, but there's something just not working for me right now with them, unfortunately. I've chosen to slow down these two clips so that you can see in the right knee, the one that works, there's more of a bend and that's why the bar comes down first. As I shoot this without a cameraman, you can see the angle isn't so great, but you can actually see that my bum won't even go any further down. So um, my ankles, again, like the left one doesn't even come that forward. Um, but if you did or didn't know, you should be able to feel a deadlift in your glutes. Um, but I just never do. It feels like my back is always doing the work. It doesn't give me back pain, but it feels like I'm using my back muscles for it a lot, which it should do anyway. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. So I absolutely love doing hanging leg raises and I find them great because it's mostly working my core but it kind of annoys me because when I bring both of my legs up, my left leg again, it feels very painful sometimes in my hip or it just feels like something is jammed and that's why it can't come up and I know it looks like I'm not pausing in between my raises but I actually am doing a mini pause um, and you should do as well so you're not relying on momentum. With the lying leg curl, I'm going very, very light. Um, also, I'm quite weak anyway in that area, but again, it still feels a little bit dodgy on the left side, um, just above my left glute, so I'm actually not doing these right now. Um, but I do like two legs and then take it down to half the weight and do one leg, so on both sides, and then um, I think I do about two of each. Um, and I aim for about 10 reps if possible with these um, because I just can't go too heavy and do low reps with them. I did want to quickly add that with the lying leg curl, um, you might realise this handles at the front, but I actually don't use those. So I um, tip my head up slightly so my back's still straight and really squeeze my core. And that way, if your glutes um, don't have any issues like mine, so in my right one, I'll really feel it in my glutes instead of my hamstrings taking over because 
if your glutes are weak and you're using the lying leg curl you probably will feel it in your hamstrings and if you want to target your glutes then I really recommend that you just come up slightly a bit more and I grab onto the top of the bench uh, unfortunately you can't see this here but um, again that's what I do um, you can just give it a go as long as you're not causing yourself any pain and then on to leg extensions because there's not really anything else I can do for my quads right now. This is the exercise I'm still doing because it actually feels okay for me. Again I'm doing the same as what I did with the leg curl and just um, doing both legs and then taking it down to half the weight but I'm actually doing like one of the lowest weights and these new machines don't go to very low weight anyway so... I'm just doing what I can, aiming for about 10 reps, but if it's over 7 then that's okay. Um, my legs are just really, really weak. So here I'm just getting myself ready to do some hip thrusts. I've just got a bench, um, like a little step up thing, and I've put an elastic band around my legs. Um, just so that I can push my knee out but I'm not doing these anymore because it does begin to get uncomfortable in my lower left back. So I'm still trying to work out what's going on there and then um, you'll see what technique I'm going to do here but try and keep your chin towards your chest otherwise um, it's not meant to be very good for your spine if you move your head um, backwards. So I just do like a body weight warm up first and then add the core back on afterwards. Um, and you just need to really really squeeze your glutes and get your hips as high as possible obviously you can see mine again are very weak so they're not even getting that high I've just put my hands on my hips here so that I can remember to really push them as high as possible especially while I have a problem with my left glute I'm only adding on 10 kilos here in the form of a core bag um, which is quite convenient and um, more comfortable I would say and basically it's quite light because I can feel this in my back so that's why I'm not doing it anymore. Thank you so much for watching Cheeky Potatoes. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and I'll see you next time Cheeky Potatoes and thank you if you got this far.